What's going on YouTube? This is your boy The Vintage Man. We are back with another video and today I'm gonna walk you guys through my first ever sneaker sale on the GOAT app. As you guys do know, I used to sell on StockX a lot lately, but if you checked out my last video, what happened with StockX, they sent me somebody else's shoes and they sent the shoe that I sold to them initially back. It was just a whole crazy situation. Like I said, if you guys wanna check that video out, why I don't sell or buy anymore on StockX, man, I will link that video down below. But like I said, today, I'm gonna walk you guys through my first ever time, you know, selling on the GOAT app. I really love the process that go goes through uh, when you buy shoes from them. So I'm only assuming that me selling sneakers on the GOAT app would be as smooth as buying them on the GOAT app, man. So we're gonna test all that today, raw, uncut. I'm gonna let you guys know every single step break down every single thing that it asks you to do when selling sneakers. I know some bunch of people out there that want to know if you sell on StockX or Goat app. And today we're going to go over the Goat selling process, man. So if you are new to the channel, right now what I need you guys to do is hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell for your boys so you never miss any other video that drops on the channel. And please leave a huge like. The likes go a long, long way. So please, I beg you guys, man, hit that thumbs up right now for your boy. And make sure you go check out the Instagram. It will be linked down below in the description box. All right, so with all out the way, man, let's jump right into our first sneaker sale on the Goat app man let's get it. all right so check it out check it out man we have a pair of air jordan 11 jubilees and as you guys know man i picked up three pairs you know i was like yo i'm gonna sit on them i'm gonna wait all the way till next june or next december and make that 500 dollars or whatever but after thinking about it man after seeing how many sneakers i'm actually sitting on i think it's about time for me to deep bulk and go ahead and start selling everything out of the collection like i said most of the sneakers that i want to sell are 100 ds and the thing that's clutch about the Goat app is you can sell sneakers that you have worn, you know, very near DS or any shoes that you want. You can wear some beat up sneakers and sell them on the Goat app. I've seen it, trust me. So if you're out there and you're wondering if you can sell your used sneakers, yes, you can. You can sell used sneakers, brand new 100% dead stock sneakers and all that good stuff. So that's why I really love how Goat goes about everything, man, buying and selling. And they just start incorporating them selling clothes as well on the Goat app. But check these out. These are 100% dead stock. You see them right there. Never worn. This is a size nine and a half which is actually a bit too big for your boy. I'm a true size nine, these are size nine and a half. So it's gonna be the first sneaker I sell on the GOAT app and I'm gonna bring you guys along the process with me. So I'm gonna be doing everything on my phone. I'm gonna screen record the whole process. I'm gonna kind of talk through it or whatever. So we can kind of, you know, see what all it asks you to do when selling on the GOAT app. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my screen record now. We're gonna get into the nitty gritty of selling these Air Jordan 11 Jubilees, man. So let's go over here. It says sell with the fourth tab on the bottom. Uh, it says need to confirm needs to ship ship listings you guys are gonna see all that good stuff uh you can actually consign listings i never knew that so that's pretty dope and it says i have five inactive listings which i never oh yeah okay so this is when i had all these pairs of sneakers i was debating on selling my uh travis scott fours on the goat app i ended up selling them on the stock x it was easier you didn't have to send no picture or anything like that so i just went ahead and sold on the stock x every sneaker you see right here i sold on stock x not on the goat app because the goat just a little bit too much for your boy and i feel like on stock x it's a little bit easier as well because it's always like a lowest bid i never checked out on the goat app maybe it is a possibility you can sell instantly just like on stock x but we're gonna check all that out right here today so you guys can check it out all my inactive listings let's go back and let's go to sell your sneakers all right so we're gonna search it so we're gonna go jubilee air drone 11 there you go right there check it out check it out and i have a size nine and a half let's make sure i got the right yep size nine and a half we got it right there uh this is brand new let's go next um everything is good condition actually good condition missing lid damaged or no original box and we have all of that good stuff so we're gonna hit good condition let's go next no yellowing no missing insoles no scuffs no b-grades no cut or tears uh, none of that good stuff we good over here so like i said on this app it asks you a bunch of stuff which is it could be good it could be good it's like a blessing in disguise i guess you could say uh just a lot of things you gotta go through just to sell one pair of sneakers so we're going to no defects on these joints right here no issues all right next it asks you for your selling price which i did not know the top offer is 270 so i was telling you guys earlier about StockX, where it's like a highest bid or a lowest bid or whatever it is you can sell instantly so i'm guessing i can sell these things instantly since the top offers 270 i can go ahead and take that so i'll make 239 dollars and 35 cents it's a 9.5 seller fee plus five dollars maybe that's for the shipping or whatever i'm not too sure and hey this is this is seeming a little bit easy this is seeming a little bit easy i ain't gonna cap all right so we're gonna hit sell now I'll take the 270. I got these for under retail. Uh, let's go ahead and give access to the Goat app. 
because that's for pictures of the tag. So let's go ahead and take pictures of that real quick. I'm, hey, I'm doing this all raw and cut for you guys. And we're doing this right here, man. So let's get a picture of that, of the tag. I think that's what they're talking about right here. Take a photo of the sneaker tag. I think it's this one. Let's see. Let's see what they say. So let's take a picture of that. I don't think that's right, though. I don't think that's right. Maybe it's talking about the tag on the inside. Oh, let's go to help. Oh, on the inside of the shoe. Okay, got you. Let's go to retake. So I want a picture of the inside tag of the shoe. So we got to break this thing down. Take out the insole real quick. And uh, hold on. Let me take this out. Check it out. Y'all appreciate you guys for rocking out with the video. Shit is just live or something like that. I Man, I hit that thumbs up for your boy. Let's get this up to 400 likes. Uh, my first ever time selling on the GoDap. app. I hope you guys are enjoying the experience with me, man. So let's take a picture of the inside tag. So this whole time I thought it was the outside box. So hey, I'm glad I know now. So let's take a picture of that. It's all the way on the inside of there, which is kind of hard to get to. So let's figure out how we're gonna do this. Damn, how are we gonna do this, bro? That's just difficult as fuck. This is difficult, I ain't gonna cap. Uh, all right, so let's see how we're gonna do this. I'm like stretching the shoe, the tongue. Oh my God. All right, I think we got it now. All right, come on, get it. Focus, focus. It's not even focusing. How do you get a picture of some shit that ain't focusing? Damn, look at the tag though. It's like way down here. Yo, one of the most difficult things to do is taking a picture of the tag inside of your Air Jordan 11s. It's pretty easy on like every other silhouette, but the Air Jordan 11s, as of right now, it's the hardest one. So we finally got the picture. Like I said, I'm screen recording this entire process. Um, yeah, so let's let's go next. Next. Okay, now we gotta take pictures of both of the shoes. Which seems very, very simple. Let's line it up like this. You guys can be able to see it on the screen record, but just telling you to, you know, take the picture of it like that. All right. So we're gonna take a picture like that. Let's see how that look. Okay, okay. Okay, let's see. A little bit wider. Hold on, hold on. Oh shit. This is hey, this is hard, bro. This is hard. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Let's get that picture real quick. Hold on. Alright, so we got that picture. Let's see what they're asking for next. Okay, now it's asking for please ensure the photo accurately shows the box condition. So let's take a picture of the box. Super easy. Maybe I should take this tag off, this A piece tag. Okay, no, we're gonna keep that on there. Okay. All right, bam, that's all you gotta do. And now we submit it. Let me see and make sure the last photo is on there. Submit it. Okay, now we have one listing up. And now I guess we just wait for the results, man. I guess we just wait for the results. All right, so we just got the order confirmed. That was super fast. It tells me, please ship within three business days, Monday through Saturday of the order being placed, fail to ship resort and auto cancellation and review of your seller account. That was super fast. So literally I just stopped recording the video. I'm gonna throw this back in the video uh, when we ended off the final sale, the final pictures and stuff like that. Uh, so amount made $239.35, which is way above what I paid for the sneaker. Got these from the PX channel for under retail. So I think I came up about 50 60 bucks which i cannot complain about just selling a bunch of sneakers that you know what i'm saying i got that i don't need so you guys can see a bunch of more sneakers going to the go app man shouts out to the go app so now all i gotta do is generate a prepaid ups label drop it off and next thing you know i'm gonna get my payout as soon as go authenticates the sneaker so that is pretty much everything you gotta go through to sell one pair of sneakers on the Goat app, you got to take a picture of the inside of the tag of the shoe. You got to take a picture of both of the sneakers, the box, make sure it's in good condition. A bunch of stuff you don't have to do on StockX. That's why I believe it's a bit easier, not even a bit, a lot easier to sell on StockX rather than Goat app. But like I said, I'm not selling on StockX anymore. Goat app is the route to go. I got a bunch of sneakers that I'm about to sell very soon. I'm about to deep bolt the collection. Definitely dump off a lot of things that I don't wear anymore. And now that I can sell sneakers that are not DS, which is super, super dope about the Goat app. Your boy collection gonna get a lot smaller very soon near you. I appreciate everybody for pulling up to this video. Please leave a huge like if you have not hit the like button already. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. We're on the ground of 50,000 subscribers. Help your boy out, we trying to get there. And next thing you know, bro, we hit that 50K, then we own that 100K grind. I appreciate every single body, man, I really, really do. Again, please leave a huge like. The goal for every video is 400 likes, and I'm telling you guys, the likes help the channel grow. It shows YouTube, you guys are enjoying the content, and it recommends these videos to other people. And this video right here, I feel like it's very beneficial for people that are super, you know what I'm saying, sketchy, or they don't know if they wanna sell on gold, they wanna stick to stock eggs. It's not as hard as it seems. I know this video is kind of long, 
but all you gotta do is take a couple pictures, list the selling, and all you gotta do is confirm the sale, and next thing you know, you get your payout. So I'm gonna give you guys a little update when I do sell this pair of Air Jordan 11 Jubilees in a future video. So like I said, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, head over to Instagram, give your boy a follow at The Vintage World, I'll be linked down below in the description box. And with all that being said, drop your comments, drop your questions and concerns down below in the comment section. And with all that out the way, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.